it never worked for us to go to some of the VR systems that were cataloged that says, here's pre-scripted scenarios. You buy these and you use these. That never worked for us because to me, we were never developing towards either the unique patterns that they were teaching with and the content that we we're teaching with, or some things that we had never thought about that scenarios will never fit. We put together an advisory committee uh, that included uh, nursing faculty, simulation techs from across the state, uh, some industry members, and we said, uh, you know, what's most important to you? What, what do you see that we could potentially do with VR that we can't already do with high fidelity simulation? And one of the very top things that they mentioned was the, we need the ability to customize these scenarios the way we want to run it. That's really the primary reason why we selected a catechist was that ability that for faculty and or sim techs to say, these are the assets, these are the things I want in the scene. This is what I want the patient to look like. This is the position I want them in. These are the, you know, the vital signs, heart sounds, lung sounds, all that. Um, and it's really the sky's the limit for faculty to design whatever scenario they would like, just like with a high fidelity simulator. We decided after looking at a number of platforms to go with a catechist first. Number one, you have an editor that allows us to create our own scenarios and or adjust existing scenarios to our needs. In a hospital, we have to be able to train our trainees who are our professionals in the exact precise procedures that are implemented in each particular department for each particular disease. We're also a children's hospital, so we have patients that are 2 pounds, 20 pounds, or 200 pounds. So we have to have every size of every instrument, et cetera, et cetera. Materials are infinite. You can set up and take down with the touch of a button. Yeah, we're looking forward to all of that. I was ascribing to the traditional VR concept that most people have in that you come in, you put on the headset, and it teaches you. And that's what a lot of other softwares do. And I've tried them and I don't like it. And the reason being is because I'm trusting someone else to meet my students' needs. And my students' needs are individualized. Just like our patient needs are individualized when we provide care, our students' needs are just as individualized. So with a, the thing I love about a catechist is it allows me to build individual scenarios that meet my students' needs, meets my community's needs, meets my school's needs, and it's not focused on what someone else thinks is the best thing for my students who've never met them.